Hey babes, your girl is back for another highly requested video. If you haven't checked out my last video, I showed you how to actually make a charm. And in today's video, I am actually going to show you how to turn a basic charm, how to turn a basic piece into a charm. So if you're interested in learning how to turn this basic piece that has no holes or anything in it to make a basic charm, then all you have to do is go ahead on and stay tuned to this video. It's time to boss up. Fix your okay, girl. Eat at it. Get your bag up. Hit that gym and get back fine. Go get that grip, go, girl. Focus on me. Unlock potential that you didn't know you had it. Fuck that nigga. Hey. Oh, yeah. It's time to mix it up and get your glow, girl. I know that you gon' get it. You got so much. Don't let nobody tell you that it's over. I want you to know that, girl. You got it. You got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You got it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, babes, welcome back to another video with your girl Yvette over at Go Lucky Charms. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a day one, then hey, babes, hey. So basically, as I already explained, I'm showing you how to take basic, basic pieces and turn them into charms. Now, I'm sorry if I don't have the best lighting, but like I said, it's highly requested and it's a gloomy day outside, so I can't use natural light or do this out on my um, balcony because... Um, it's gloomy <laughs> so we're using ring lights and we're gonna make it do what it do okay so right now i'll just go over some of the um the tools you need okay supplies so the first thing you need is your handy dandy hand tool okay and this is a hand drill and they are available on our website at goluckycharms.com the link is in the description if you would like to purchase one if not you can definitely find these other places i'm not trying to make you buy anything from us it's just that i know we sell them so i should mention it to you and then we also have these little pliers i think they're called like little nose pliers i'm not sure what the exact name is i believe they're called nose pliers um, and then you have your eye pins, which is this little tiny little pin with like, um, like a little screw connected. So this is an eye pin and we have these on the website as well in, um, silver and gold. And then of course you have some basic pieces that don't have any holes or anything. It's just a cute little charm. And this is actually like a little Captain Crunch, like little cereal box, y'all. I thought these were super cute and perfect to use to show y'all. Now, this one, I already drilled a hole in it. So, that's the first step I'm going to show y'all. I drilled a hole in it, if you can see. I hope it's not coming up blurry for y'all because I can't really see as much because of the angle. But, yes, I have a little hole right here that I already drilled, okay? So, before I show you how I drilled it, I'm going to show you basically what you have to do. And I got on nails, so please bear with me. But, like I said, these videos are highly requested from my babes. And I didn't really want to hold it off any longer because I should have been did this video. <laughs> um, but, basically, now that the hole is drilled in at the top... I got my eye pen, and I'm basically, I'm sorry y'all, like I said, with nails on, it's a little harder to do certain stuff, and this is one of them. So basically, I'm just going to take my um, pen, and I am just going to screw it in to the hole, and please be careful with this because they're all delicate pieces. I wish I can get a better light for y'all. I really do. No worries. I'll just do an updated video one day when it's really light and pretty outside. So, bam. There you go. Just that easy. I just turned a basic piece into a charm. Okay? So, bam. I'm going to actually show y'all how to actually get the hole in. So, here's the drill. And, of course, here's the basic piece. You cut the drill on, and these drills are great. Sometimes they get they act a little shady and they get loose, but you could just tighten them up. So basically, what I would do, what I like to do is plan it down so I can hold everything firm. Um, and then I find like try to get to as middle as I can, and then I just start slightly drilling a hole in my charm. 
that seems deep enough. You don't have to go too deep because this is just the residue from the plastic going into the charm. So you just wipe that out perfectly fine. This is my work area, so it gets a little dirty, but what I do is I sanitize daily. But honey, I got glue on this thing. That's pretty much it. I think I done punctured a couple holes using these and laying my charms flat down. But once again, it's a workstation. It's meant to get, you know, not perfect, okay? So we're gonna take our um, eye pen. It's one I already done fill out. So I'm gonna take the eye pen and I like to grip it with my nose pliers. Just grip it really good. And I like to hold this so I can, you know, just have some firmness. And then I like to get it in. And y'all see how easy it was to just screw the hole in. It literally takes no time to do this. It's just if you're like me and you're trying to do a video with nails on, it may not be the best thing, but you still get the job done. And as you see, I'm just holding the um, the eye pen firm in my hand, not too tight, but firm enough. And I'm just taking the piece and I'm just circling it on until I get it in. Let me show y'all. Bam, it's in just like that. It literally takes no time to do this, y'all. The charm business is a great business to be in. It's so easy. It's fun. It's girly. Um, it's amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. So basically now we went from two basic pieces into two charms. Now the next step, and I already did a video on how to make charms. So if you haven't um, watched that video, please go check it out. I actually posted it um right before this one. So yeah, your girl dropped in two videos today. So basically, I'm not gonna thoroughly go over everything with you in here, but I'm gonna show you what I can. So basically, I have my split ring plier, which is also available on the website. And then I have a split ring, which is basically like a little tiny key ring. Um, and these are great for charm making. I mean, you can use different types of rings but my favorite is the split ring. And when you hear that click, that just means that this plier did what it needed to do, which was break that split ring up, okay? It just broke the split ring up. So now it's where I need it to be. And I'm just gonna take my um, once basic charm, I mean my once basic piece that I turned into a charm, and I'm just gonna slide it right onto my split ring. And there you go. And I'm just turning it so it can lock in. Bam. Now this is ready to go on a bangle. And I'm going to do that again for y'all. I got my split ring. I got my split ring prior, plier. I'm sorry. Try to get to the edge. It has been split because I heard the click. I'm going to take my once basic charm, my once basic piece that I turned into a charm, drop it onto my split ring and secure it. Once again, that's it. That is it, that is all. Now we have two charms that are ready to be applied onto any bangle bracelet. And these are nice sizes, as you see in my hand. These are nice size um, cereal box charms, which is super cute and great additions to any bangle, especially if you're doing like a foodie or anything like that. I didn't have, I didn't order a lot of these. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put these on the website or not. I might just add them into the large foodies mix. So if you follow us at Go Lucky Charms, um, you or you've been on our website, which is uh, linked in the description, then you already know we sell a foodies mix where we take random charms that have something to do with food and we put it into a mix. And because I only have a few of these, I may just go ahead on and add them to the mix. So you may be one of the lucky girls that just decides to order that mix and end up with one of these. Um, now, if you do, unfortunately, they probably won't be already made into a charm because when I get the basic pieces and I have videos like this, I also have videos like this on my IG. I just put them in because I don't have a lot of downtime to make um, these into charms all the time. But if I do, I will put them in there as charms. It just depends on, but that's the purpose of these videos so that y'all can learn how to do basic pieces, turn them into charms. And when you receive pieces from me or anyone else that may not 
um, be a charm already, you know exactly how to turn it into a charm. It's very quick, very easy, very effective. Okay, so once again, if you like this video and you enjoyed me showing you how to turn a basic piece into a charm, then please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Cut on your post notifications so you never miss a video from Echo Lucky Charms. And don't forget to leave me some comments letting me know if you like this video, if you would change anything about this video, if I should have added anything to this video, or if you want to see another video very similar to this. Also, while you're at it, make sure you check out some of our other videos that we have posted on the channel. Um, very informative, very behind the scenes, and um, great for beginners. So if you're in the charm business and you're in the beginning, you definitely should follow us and check out our other videos. Okay? Okay. So make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next video, babes, thanks for watching. Peace.